What is it? What do you see? <sighs> can't you see that I'm busy? Like, what, a guy can't go on a break for like a month? I've been busy the past couple of weeks. I don't have to, I don't have to answer to you. Well, why haven't you been uploading? I've been busy. He saved my life. You know, I'm trying to spend some time with him. You know, as, as, as a compensation for, for bringing me through hell and back. No, I'm not going to tell you how he saved my life. Uh, who the fuck are you? What are you, my, my, my manager? I haven't been uploading because I've been busy, okay? It, it was Black Friday, Christmas shopping, uh, just regular day-to-day -day things that I have to do. I mean, this isn't my priority. You're not my girlfriend. You're not my, my dog. I don't have to answer you. I'm not going to tell you how he saved my life. I mean, if I tell you, will, will you go away? Will you finally go take a shower? Okay, then. I'll tell you. I have the big H. I-V-E-S. Hives. Don't know from what. I don't know what what is is the cause of this poor immune system reaction i don't know i really don't know what what's been giving me hives i theorize it's dairy because i'm i've been lactose intolerant for the past couple of years but i've still been eating dairy products but i think now my body's like caught up with it and he's and, and my body's like yeah well either you stop eating dairy or i'm gonna i'm gonna kill you in your sleep and and that's what happened one night uh my, my body started started choking itself um and I, and I woke up to george lopez staring at me and I was all covered in hives, like from, from head to toe, and it was very itchy, and like it was warm. It was like, like all the, all, all like the hives were like little, like warm rocks. It was weird, but I wasn't choking, I wasn't choking by the way, I wasn't dying in my sleep. Um, but anyway, I woke up from a dream, I don't know what I was dreaming about, and I see this dude staring at me, and, and I, I could have swore to you, I could swear to you, fuck. I could I could have sworn that he was he was he was talking to me. He was like, take a Benadryl. <laughs> so I got out of bed and I went downstairs and, and, and I took a Benadryl and I went back to sleep and they were all gone. So that's the story of how George Lopez saved my life and or the story of how I I've I've been I've been in denial that I, I'm allergic to dairy. Because it's sad. I don't want to be allergic to dairy. I love cheese. I love butter. I love milk. What the hell am I going to eat for breakfast? I can't put mozzarella cheese in my cereal anymore. That dream is gone. I can't do shit anymore. I can't eat pizza. I can't eat nacho cheese. I can't uh, 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 make mozzarella sticks. I can't do that anymore. I'm, like, I have no identity anymore. Like, you know, I, I, I dairy products is what I live for. I mean, think about it. Think, Think about it. You, the person, you behind this t phone screen. How many dairy products do you love? And if you don't love dairy products, <laughs> you're a puppet. You're you're a you're a little teensy little ant that I'm gonna squash because you're stupid. I can't eat any more ice cream. I mean, what am I gonna what are we gonna eat? Dairy free ice cream? That's not real. It doesn't exist. Almond milk? Again, it's just flavored water. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway, this was uh. This has been an internal struggle I've been, I've been dealing with for the past couple of years. I don't know. I was like 14 when I was self-diagnosed with lactose intolerance. Um, I mean, like I made some changes. Like I switched to lactate, the lactose-free milk, even though it still makes you shit like crazy, you know. Um, but again, it it's going to be so sad, like just quitting dairy products cold turkey. I mean, I... I I want some kind of closure, but I don't want to fucking die in the process. Um, I mean, again, the hives the hives went away with a Benadryl. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was this dirty ass fucking outfit I've been wearing for the past year. I haven't washed once. Um, maybe it was just like my bed sheets or something. I don't. I don't know. Some foreign bacteria. I'm not sure. But I need to test out um, dairy products. Like I need to just like start gorging myself with 
with cheese and milk and, and butter and shit. Um, either either I'm gonna die um, due to my throat closing in because of dairy products. Even though I've never really heard of anyone dying from like dairy products. Or it's a bad trip to the bathroom, which I'd rather take the latter. Um, I mean, think about it. How how many how many people out there have been inconvenienced by their own body being allergic to something? Like I remember when I was seven years old, I used to eat shrimp all the time. I used to love shrimp, you know, deep fried shrimp. You know, it, now all of a sudden I'm allergic to shrimp at the age of like what eight years old, and that's it. I can't eat shrimp for the rest of my life. Like the other day, my dad was eating some some shrimp dish. Um, and just the smell of it just made my, just the smell of it made my throat itch. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm still allergic to shrimp. <laughs> guess I'll wait another decade to see if I'm, I'm still allergic. Like, no, it's, it's stupid. I mean, even though, you know, there, there are other alternatives to seafood, you know, like fish, uh, tilapia, salmon, um, oh, okay. That salmon, uh, what else is there? That's it. Those are the only other fish in the sea. Calamari. Uh, red lobster biscuits. Sushi. I don't really, I've never really eaten sushi. Um, I've never really tried it. Uh, and here in, in the state that I live in, there's not really a lot of good sushi places because the nearest ocean is like two hours away. So... Yeah, I, I, w I wouldn't trust the sushi places here, but um, I'm, I'm going off track. You know, it's it's the fact that your body just betrays you like that. Um, and, and further, you know, further down the line, when you know, when, when you're older, you don't know what you're going to be allergic to. And then, like, you could just, like, be eating dinner or something. All of a sudden, your, your body just starts swelling for no reason. And that's it. You're allergic to that thing. And you can't eat it anymore. And then you start thinking, well, gee, I've been eating this for my whole life. I wonder if all this is going to catch up somehow. And it's, it's, it's stupid. I, I think... You know, we, we put man on the moon and we've made it so that digital images of monkey can sell for hundreds of thousands of, of dollars, but yet we haven't figured out how to just like stop people from being allergic to things. I, I don't get it. Science, come on, you got to figure something out. Um, and, uh, well, that's about it. So... That's really what was on my mind. It's good to get that off my chest. Hold that thought. I'm not done yet. I was talking to Georgie here, and he's he's he told me something very very thought provoking. Why don't you just tolerate the allergic reaction? And I thought to myself, well, that's it's a wonderful idea, George Lopez. You know, like maybe it's all in maybe it's all in your head maybe it's like not even your body being allergic to it maybe it's it's your mind playing tricks with you you know you the human brain is is a very complex organ it, it it plays tricks on itself and and maybe if it's all in your head and if you tell yourself i'm not allergic to this my throat's not closing in i don't need to go to the hospital maybe it'll all go away maybe next time i get an allergic reaction to something i'll just i'll just some deep, calm, relaxing breaths, and then pass <laughs> pass out from the fucking allergic reaction. What a stupid, what a stupid piece of advice. You're stupid, George Lopez. Oh, but the real George Lopez. If you're if you're watching this, um, I like you very much. I have a crush on you, um, and you you need to do more things because I think the world. The, in the world in the year 2022, actually, it's about to be, needs more George, George, George Lopez. Uh, George Lopez. And, um, yeah, so uh, to, to the final message of this video, uh, if you're allergic to things, you know, there are other alternatives to food. Like, you know, maybe I'm being a little picky when I say I'm not going to not eat dairy products, but... There are other things out there. Dairy's not even good for you anyway. Like, we're, like, I don't think the human body was meant to even consume dairy from other animals. I mean, if you think about it, it's it's weird in of its own. Like we're we're drinking the milk, the nectar of of, of another living animal. Um, <laughs> my lizard's staring at me. He's uh he's he's very he's very into he's very into the the topic today. Maybe he has a couple of things to say, but uh, he can't speak. So I, too late, we can't talk to him, but, um, 
Yeah, and it you know always remember to carry like an EpiPen around you know for those serious allergic reactions. Uh, Benadryl is always good to have in your wallet. Um, you know just things like that. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, oh my god. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Get the fuck out of here.